I deserve to be told. You had no right to keep it secret from me. It's an ongoing investigation. I meant no disrespect. Did Jal know? Of course not. Neither did the human. I could have kept Sam to myself, you know. This is different. Not your business. It is now. We need to find the Ket command ship. Tell him the truth about my capture. Moshai, please. It may be our only route to the Archon. One of my men helped the Ket take her. A resistance commander named Venterev. The Archon wanted her knowledge of Remnant Tech. But why would Ven betray her? I don't know. That's why I kept it quiet. I'm working to capture him, make him answer for what he did. You know where he is? Kadar report. My contacts are hunting him. Contacts? You can't trust anyone there. They deserted our cause, our people. And now they're ruled by exiles from your galaxy. Ven may know how to find the Archon and his ship. We can't leave this to a pack of renegades and outlaws. I'm a little new to the galaxy. Where did Ven go, exactly? Kadara Port is a trading outpost. We abandoned it when the Ket invaded. Some of us went back. Deserters, scavengers. They don't support Aya. How did exiles from the Nexus wind up there? Bad luck for everyone. I need the relic that leads to Meridian, and I can handle my people. Let me do this. I don't like it. I don't care. The Pathfinder is right. I'll transmit my files on Kadara Port to your ship. Our traitor could have useful information. We need him alive. That's up to him. Be safe, Pathfinder. As for you, Ephra, we're not done. When you have a moment, Pathfinder, this is a tremendous honor. I must express my admiration for all you've done, crossing the void between galaxies, navigating the Scourge to find Aya. Incredible. The odds were against us, that's for sure. Yet here we are, strangers from different galaxies conversing in friendship. Extraordinary. I am Mariko Darej, Chief Phoneron. It's a privilege to meet you. Tell me about yourself. I'm something of a pathfinder myself. I am a celestial observer, charting the movements of stars, planets, and the Scourge. 
An astronomer? You know the safe routes out there? We deploy satellites that alert us to new hazards and opportunities. But we've lost contact with several key observers. They've simply stopped. I sent a vessel to scan their last known locations, but nothing's been found. Your Tempest is highly advanced. I hoped you could aid our search. Even Pathfinders need a good map. I'll look into it. I knew you'd understand. I'll provide search nav points. And when I can finally reconcile our charts with fresh satellite data, I'll gladly share all we have. Director Tan, good news. The Angara opened an embassy for us on Aya. That is... a surprise? What are their expectations? They survived the Scourge and the Ket, and rebuilt their civilization. Don't forget it. Appeal to their pride. Sensible. I will gather envoys and send them to Aya. Thank you, Pathfinder. We'll take it from here. Lexi, your dad was... even 300 years old and fussing at us like a matriarch. We were right about the vault on Aya, huh? What a find. And this Meridian might jumpstart all the others. I knew hitching my wagon to yours would pay off. So what's your take? Is this Meridian what we think it is? Everything we've seen, each remnant system we've uncovered, is connected to everything else. The bots, the monoliths, the vaults. It stands to reason that activating Meridian will connect the entire network and rekindle terraforming across the cluster. So you think we're doing the right thing? Well, yeah. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Hey, Ryder. You probably have worked. You know where to find me.
You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. So, Kalo, who's that woman? What? Whom? You're always short of credits after we come back. Is it because of her? It's... Hmm. Emery? No wonder the Archon wants to control it. Like everything in Helios. See you later. Come on. Something I should know about? Hey, I was just... How you doing? I'm... Great, just, uh... I told you I screwed up, and I have. Remember Verand? I contacted Yangara. She's gone. The whole group is gone. Sudden. So, yeah, up for a rescue? Because if we don't, we could be next. Of course we are. Why wouldn't we go after them? Yeah, um, because I gave Varand Nexus data and nav points. Why would you do that? We need to know how to live here. I tried asking. I tried taking. No one would help outsiders. So I took initiative. Gave her data and text so she could mod it. Varand was... She is a good risk. But if pirates interrogate her or barter her to the Ket, it's our heads. Why didn't you alert everyone immediately? If they have her info, they have our comms. The Nexus goes on alert, they'll know. Varan's people are tough. They'd have fought if they thought there was a chance. Something made them think there wasn't. I won't risk that. Bad enough I have to involve you. Like I said, I screwed up. We'll take care of it before it's a problem. <sighs> it's already a problem. Got a lead from a trader, a grainy visual. We find that system, we find our bad guys. I also asked Bradley for people to help intercept. I thought they might want to pitch in. How are a bunch of settlers supposed to help? That's what he said. We're on our own. I'll forward the visual to the bridge for when you want to start hunting. And... Sorry. Anomaly on sensors. Probes launched. I found something. According to that astronomer on Aya, a satellite should be here. I'm not detecting anything. If it was here, it's gone. You mean destroyed? I mean, gone. Destruction would leave debris. We've got nothing. Let's try another nav point.
Entering atmosphere. LZ in sight. Trust any of this remnant stuff. Don't trust their giant ditch.
anything about my sister your sister was moved across Navarro this data drive should have the specifics thank you with all this information I could see Amara again but the thought of leaving frightens me this is my home if I leave I abandon my duties what if I never get to come home again everyone gets scared it passes Amara's your sister and home is often a person, and not a place. I will swallow my fear. Thank you for this. For helping an old man. Bridge is yours, Pathfinder. Ryder, Lexi was looking for you. Thank you. 
Ah, oh, Ryder. Sorry for the mess. Who's your friend? An exalted cat. I called Jarl to show him. Ah, oh, there he is. Jarl, look at this. There's nothing Angara inside. The physical can be deceiving. I've run hundreds of tests. Only traces of the Angara genome remain. The exalted are cat. There must be a way to fix them. Anything's possible. We just have to keep trying. Even from mistakes, we can learn. Thank you, Ryder. What? Jal needs to accept that exaltation is permanent. You're making his grief worse. I didn't think about it like that. Because you see him as a friend, not a patient. That's why I'm here. To observe and treat, Jarl is part of this crew. His welfare is my responsibility. I know this job was a surprise, but you've really stepped up. And look, you got your cat sample. Their bodies are unlike anything I've seen. Centuries of gene stealing, crafted evolution. It's horrible, of course but also fascinating. Glad you're settling in. Sink or swim, right? <sighs> I should probably clean this up before it starts to smell. going to do it. I've run all the tests. It's non-toxic. If we're going to live here, someone has to take the plunge and actually try to eat things. Dr. Tapero, please do something. Don't do it, Suvi. You told on me. I thought we were friends. You, sir, are uninvited from all my parties.
free for an interview? I'd like to know more about the Angara. It's not often a first contact goes so smoothly. At least the Angara are more peaceful than the Ket. There's high hopes for this alliance. The Angara have their own problems, and we're newcomers in their cluster. We need to work at this. The Angara soldier who joined your team has a few fans already, but everyone's talking about Aya. Green plants, flowing water? Our leaders have discussed whether we should send colonists there. Aya is a sovereign planet of the Angara. We have no right to settle there. Strong stuff. Here's hoping we don't need to. Okay, that's... Oh, a call from the director's office. Excuse me. Things are still going smoothly without me to look over them? We're good. I told you we'd manage. Damn, we could have at least pretended the transition was difficult. We're doing great, Ryder. Thanks to everything. I wonder what my dad would think of all this. Would he have encouraged the move? Come with us if he could? I'm sure he would have, to be with you guys. Yeah, I think so too. Sid doesn't remember anything about him, but I do. I think he might have liked it here. And we're happy to help your guards secure their weapons. I prefer them armed, for now. You understand, of course. Oh, Pathfinder. This is the head of the Angaran delegation. The one who saved the Moshai. She speaks highly of you. Call me Issa de Navar. Welcome, Ambassador. The Angara's first formal visit will be one for the history books. I wonder what they'll say. I was just explaining to the Ambassador that armed guards aren't necessary here. Is something wrong, Ambassador? Please walk with me, Pathfinder. So much life. All different, all united. The way it could have been. Seventy-five years ago, we were scattered, struggling to rebuild after the Scourge. Then, the Ket arrived. Alien life. It was monumental. But then they deceived and enslaved us. So, I hope you understand my precautions. Your people have endured much, Ambassador. I'd be cautious too. Yet all this, your initiative, is proof there's a better way. I want to believe in this alliance, Pathfinder. The Moshai says you're trustworthy. Please, help me trust in you. We don't expect you to enter this alliance blindly, Ambassador. Everything we say, you can check. You'd be that open with us? We have nothing to hide. They'll surrender their weapons to your militia, if that's satisfactory. Thank you. We won't disappoint you, Ambassador. Pavoa set Jav Jaravon, Pathfinder. Welcome to Andromeda. me. You're the one who befriended these strange new people, these Angara, and now they're here, on the Nexus. How do we know we can trust them? I mean, for certain. Remember, we're the strangers. This is their home, and they've welcomed us. They've earned our trust. I guess. Talk to them. Get to know them. See for yourself. Good advice. 
I will. Seems make quiet for know. now. Make them leave Look. or make them go. Hey, what's going Tell on? Our leaders. That's Wait, your the new sleepers. galaxy. Making speeches about some fresh start while your kids stay frozen. And it's all thanks to your Pathfinder. Excuse me? We've waited months for our families to come out of stasis. They should have gone to your outpost. But since you think research is so important, military personnel got bumped down the list, like my clan brothers. All the reassignments mean they're in ten different colony blocks now. And my mother just got caught in the middle. We only had resources for one outpost, so I focused on the skills we needed most. And what we need is our families back. Maybe you could still make this right. I just want Mom out of stasis. That's all anyone here wants. You do stasis revivals. You can tell our leaders you're opening those pods. Today. I authorize whole colony blocks or a few emergency revivals. I can't wake dozens of random people. We don't care whose finger pushes the button. If you can't, our leaders can. And if you tell them, they will. Okay. I'll talk to the leadership about what we can do. Fourteen months of promises. It's time for some results. We tried petitioning Addison. She ignored us. Screw her! Start with Kandros. He sent those ten soldiers over there. Maybe he'll take us seriously. Tell our leaders! Wake up, sleep! Any word? No, nope, no new orders. Safety's on, I guess. Let's hear it. Those look horrifying. Dutch will love them. Ugh. Hello? So, Ryder, big news. I think I found my purpose in life. Oh, yeah? What's that? Uh, thrashing you at poker? <laughs> Shall I deal? Ryder. I can read Gil's vital signs and give you an advantage during the game if you like. Don't. All right? Well, you can deal first. Having fun? Getting my ass kicked is what I'm doing. Poker's lost me several friends over the years. The only one who still plays me is my buddy Jill. I, I know, I know. Jill and Gil. The one you mentioned, part of the initiative? Yep, been awake since the start. Jill's a fatality expert, heads the initiative CRC. My only real friend from back home, I bet 50. I call, the CRC? Colonial Repopulation Committee. She's always teasing that I'm making her job harder. Says if I'm not making babies, I'm part of the problem. We have that kind of relationship. Hmm. Sounds kind of disrespectful. It doesn't bother you? Nah, she's like family. Supports me unconditionally. We just ride each other like that. You should meet her. You'll see. She's amazing. Another hundred. Ah, I fold. Another one for me, then. Well, that's that. You win. I've achieved my true purpose in life. <laughs> what will I do now? Revenge will be mine. Someday, maybe. Jill predicted you'd be my downfall. Can't wait to tell her she was wrong. Another streak intact, I'll say. Ouch. Have fun. And thanks for the game.
interesting place, isn't it? Full of smiles and handshakes. Not many soldiers. Even though when politicians make peace, it's we soldiers who keep it. Given our situation, it's smart to show we truly come in friendship. <laughs> Though in these times, you should be prepared for the alternative. But names. I know you, Pathfinder. I am Andrachno, a Heskal with the Resistance. A Heskal? Well, centuries ago, Heskal were special forces. We defended colonies, passing our training down via oral history. Few remember us today. I came to learn what the Milky Way knows of such things. I heard your father was part of a similar program, an N7. What have you learned about the N7 program? Human soldiers who trained on exotic worlds. Arcturus, Europa, Rio de Janeiro. They learned to fight in all environments on little food or sleep, to care for their injured, to lead. Is that accurate? Wasn't your father one of them? He was. Although things soured when he began AI research. Didn't stop him teaching me and my sister a few tricks. So, you carry a little of that knowledge with you, as well as your Pathfinder skills. N7 training would benefit my people. Heskal training would benefit yours. Perhaps a few war games. Show me how your skills handle the tests of a Heskal recruit. Challenge yourself and teach me. A chance to work with the Angaran best of the best? Absolutely. Excellent. I'll activate our training beacons. Finding them can be your first test. After that, I look forward to learning. Unlocking. Come on in. Ta-da! My project. She is complete. She? Looks like a she to me. Just a proof of concept. I stripped out its remnant command prompts to see if I could power it up myself. It worked! Now I can build a field model with combat protocols that fights for you. So, uh, what do you think? You've outdone yourself, PB. Let Suvian Gill eyeball it, then fast track the combat model for me. I'd hoped you'd be happy. Oh no, I forgot to lock the. Shit. My, my, Pelisaria. Didn't know you were still using this hole. Who's your friend? Kalinda, this is Ryder. Oh, everyone knows the human Pathfinder. I meant, who's your remnant friend? None of your business, Kalinda. Of course it isn't. That's what makes it so interesting. Don't be so hostile, babe. Don't be so condescending, babe. This is Peavy's place, and you're trespassing. I'd say that warrants a little hostility. Now, now. I was just concerned something might have happened to my dear old friend. I'm sorry for the intrusion, Pelisaria. I'm just relieved to see you moving on. Ta-ta. I'll walk you out. So, want to talk about it? Oh, Kalinda and I go way back. We joined the initiative together. For a long time, we were like family. Now we're not. When you live a thousand years, Ryder, people come and people go. Entanglements are silly. Just like places. Time to pack this one up. I'm done with it. 
But how can you give all this up? Ha! <laughs> Watch me. Easy come, easy go. I'll pack up my new pet and essentials. See you back on the Tempest. its presence. Some even feed on its radiant energy. See this older specimen? The growth... Specimens! Scans! Our conservation effort can barely keep up. What a wonderful service you've done for us. You've certainly earned your fee. like fruit brought back from Habitat 7 and as authorities battle. Multiple passengers are still in quarantine. This is HNS. I came across on the Solarian. Back for a visit? Scientists have few answers as the dark energy anomaly known as the Scourge limits travel and communication in the cluster. This is HNS. Pathfinder, maybe you can clear this up. How can I help? My friend Jory was on EOS the first go-round, barely survived. Now they want him to go back. They're saying the conditions are improved, that, that it's safe now, is it? You can believe the reports. EOS is becoming a livable and sustainable space. Going back to reclaim it will help heal your scars. See, Jory? It's going to be okay. Thank you, Pathfinder. Uh, I'll do that. The Cultural Center requests special dietary What's up? instructions for Angaran visitors. I met another journalist, Carrie Tavessa. Yeah, we're running Carrie's series, Path of a Hero. Good stuff. I'm mostly on my own, so pretty much anyone who brings me news is welcome. Content is king, and her content is really touching a nerve. Talk to you later. I'll be here. Colonial Affairs, please advise Writer. Director Tan. I'll let you get back to work. When I was a merc, you figured out 
rookies with your gut, not some questionnaire. Exactly. So that's what the Ked are up to, transforming people into willing slaves? Now we know why they take so many prisoners. Well, they're sure as hell not taking any more. I need to talk to you about Stasis Revival and those protesters in hydroponics. I see. Maybe I should get the others for this. Protesters have seized hydroponics? They want their families out of stasis. The outpost on Eos disrupted the schedule. They're scattered across colony blocks, dozens of people. The protesters want this fixed today. The realities of our position are... We can't wake those families. We don't have the resources, and there's nowhere to put them. Then what's the point of all those outposts I've founded? People need more than space, Ryder. They need work they're trained for, and we don't have placements for those families. If I just toss them to any outpost with a spare bunk, they become a burden we can't afford. What do you suggest? Leave the families in stasis where it's safe and get those protesters out of hydroponics. They seem sympathetic, but so did the exiles. We can't risk another revolt. Survival is more important than family reunions. Do you think these protests could turn violent? We're all pioneers. Even civilians are tough enough to start something. And interfering in hydroponics threatens our oxygen supply. They know that. What would you do with the protesters? I'd send in a squad and march them out. At gunpoint, if we must. If they resist, a few might land in medbay, but it's better than losing hydroponics. Or the Nexus. We have to look at the bigger picture. Get them out of there. Kangros? I'll send in a team, but it might go smoother if Ryder's there. A good idea. Sometimes we have to give bad news. That's a Pathfinder's duty, too. Supply request is in. Meds, mail, and MREs coming your way. Pathfinder? I have a specific person I want brought out of. Name and designation if available. I heard that the chief engineer on EOS went back into cryo. There have been a few such requests. The first few months in Helios were disheartening. Now the Prodromos is on track. I want her redeployed. Chief Engineer Grace Little, designation E97 Durango. Deployment will begin shortly. Is there anything else, Pathfinder? Why do some colonists have a number letter designation? All initiative members do. In a CV file somewhere, anyway. It isn't relevant when everyone is doing everything. I suppose it's like... Uh, caring about a middle name. Do you not know yours? I wasn't aware I had one. Hmm. You were in select company, even before you were made Pathfinder. Rider Pathfinder. Specialist designation A04 Malapa. Hmm. Something interesting? An A and low odds. Hmm. Someone's an early adopter. Another time. Pathfinder. Yes, Pathfinder? I've been digging. And there are serious concerns about Spender. And this relates to your job as Pathfinder, how? It relates to your job. <sighs> Three, four, five... Right. I've had a year and a half of doing everything with nothing. A thousand people riding me. Spender, shit as he is, helps. So, Pathfinder, if you've accusations to make, be certain. I'll drop trouble like a hot rock. But I can't lose people over suspicions. We don't have the people left. Director Addison? Goodbye, Pathfinder. We're done here. Good job on the outpost. Maybe Addison will let you know. What do you mean? 
She's been pretty upset about not having an initiative outpost established yet. Understandable, if you ask me. I'm just glad she's got work to focus on now. Nothing more for now. Try not. The extra resources from the... Congratulations are in order. Peaceful contact with the Angara. It's everything the initiative stands for. From what I've seen, we could spend years learning about their culture. I am sure you have pleased our scientists to no end. This was a rare occurrence in the Milky Way. I hope rescuing the Moshe leads to stronger ties between our people. Did you have some other business? That's all. My pleasure.